Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Freitas time. How are you? Okay, today we get to read about a cute little dog. Oh, here's my dog. She's a good dog most of the time. Sometimes she gets in trouble. She loves running after squirrels. Huh. Don't you love running after squirrels? You. Yeah. This is Zoe, you guys. Say hi, Zoe. You say hi? Hi, Zoe. Yeah, she's great. She's going to sit here next to me while I read you a book called Always in Trouble. Okay, so it's written by Corinne DeMoss, or Corinne DeMoss, and pictures are by Noah Z. Jones. So, so cute. All right. This book is testable. Always in trouble. All right. Let's see. This is the publisher page and it says it was written. Golly, when was it written? Copyright in 2009. Some of you weren't even born yet. All right. I want to say it's Corrine, Corrine DeMoss. Hope I'm saying that right. All right. Oh, this is Toby and this is Emma. And hopefully you can see there's a little bit of a glare, but I'll try to help you with that. I hope you enjoy the book. Emma's dog, Toby, was always in trouble. On Monday, he got into the garbage. See right there. On Tuesday, he ran into the road. On Wednesday, he ate a loaf of bread that Emma's dad had just baked. Trouble. Busted. On Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night. On Friday, he wet the rug. On Saturday, he chewed up all the buttons on Emma's new coat. On Sunday, he snoozed. Man. Trouble. Zoe, do you get in that kind of trouble? I don't think so. But on Monday morning, he got into the garbage again. Something has to be done about that dog! said em Emma's mom. Maybe he isn't getting enough attention, said Emma. Oh, no. So all day Monday, she gave Toby lots of attention and brushed his fur and sang him silly songs. But on Tuesday, Toby ate a box of crayons. Shame, shame, shame. On Wednesday, he jumped into the basket of clean laundry that Emma's mom had just finished folding. <laughs> oh my goodness. He was very good on Thursday. He was very good on Friday. But on Saturday... He chewed up the magazine. Dude. And on Sunday, he went wading in the muddy brook and then ran across the clean kitchen floor. No, no, no. Something has got to be done about that dog! Cried Emma's mom. Maybe he needs to go to dog training school, said Emma. Ooh, what a great idea, said Emma's mom. So, maybe that will help. The first class started the next day. There were ten dogs in Toby's class. Some were big and some were little. Some barked and some yipped and some growled and some whined. Toby was quiet as a goldfish. a lot of little dogs. Look at this long guy. <laughs> uh, 
He behaved perfectly at school every week, and he did everything just right. <clears throat> when Emma said sit, he sat. When Emma said come, he came. When Emma said heel, he stood right by her side. Look at him, he's juggling balls here. Pretty cool. Or balancing. Balancing. This book is awkward to hold. He was the best dog, said Miss Katz. <laughs> Look, her name's Miss Katz. That's funny. When the classes were all over, at graduation, she gave Toby a diploma with a gold seal. Emma's mom tacked the diploma low down on the wall, right over Toby's dog dish. Now you know how to behave, she said to Toby. Pretty cool. Good job, Toby. But on Monday, Toby got into the, gar the garbage, <clears throat> and on Tuesday, he ran into the road. Not again. On Wednesday, he ate the cookies that Emma's dad had just baked. I love cookies. On Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night and woke everyone up. On Friday, he wet the rug. On Saturday, he dug up the petunias Emma and her mom had just planted. Da, da, da. This doggy is a continuous problem. On Sunday, he chewed up his diploma. Something has got to be done about this dog, cried Emma's mom. Emma took him back to dog school. This time he doesn't look so happy about it. Miss Katz is not going to be happy. <clears throat> Does he sit? Asked Miss Katz. Yes, said Emma. Does he come? Asked Miss Katz. Yes, said, said Emma. Does he heal? Asked Miss Katz. Yes, said Emma. Well then, what's the trouble? Asked Miss Katz. Oh boy, here's the trouble. So Emma told her. I see, said Miss Katz. If you want a specially trained dog, you'll have to leave him with me for a week. Okay, said Emma. Oh boy. Emma missed Toby all week. He was very happy to see her when she picked him up. I hope you've learned something this time, said Emma's mom. Please, Toby, Emma whispered to him. You've got to be good now. Toby licked Emma's face. He had a strange twinkle in his eye. Oh, said Emma's mom. I hope you've learned something this time. Please, Toby, Emma whispered to him. You've got to be good now. Basically, if you're not good, you're gonna, you won't be able to be our dog anymore. On Monday, he took out the garbage. On Tuesday, he baked some bread. On Wednesday, he vacuumed the rug. On Thursday, he folded the laundry. On Friday, he washed the kitchen floor. And on Saturday, he planted some petunias. And on Sunday, he snoozed. Man, I think he wanted to be involved in all those things. He's a smart dog. Maybe he's gifted and talented. <laughs> oh, brother. But no dog can be perfect always. Not even Toby. Oh, no. Squirrels. That'll do it. And he's off. 
That's totally what Zoe does. I have to keep the leash really, really tight or she'll get away from me. No matter what day of the week it is, Toby is up to no good. Emma loves her dog, but something has got to be done. That's what it says on the back. That's so cute. And it sounds like whatever Miss Katz did at this school, it totally helped. I don't know what she did. I wonder what she did. What do you guys think she did to, to Toby? Do you think he had to stay in a cage? Or do you think... She trained him to do these cool things at home. I don't know what she did, but it was kind of amazing. So kiddos, speaking of trouble, have you ever been in trouble? It's not fun to be in trouble. So always think before you speak or act. Always treat others the way you want to be treated. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good one to think about. Because when you figure out what kind of person you want to be and you treat others very nicely, just like you want to be treated, boy, that kindness comes back to you. And people love nice people. I know that when I'm a teacher, sometimes kiddos, you know, they don't get along or maybe they have a difference of opinion. So they have to talk about it. They have to talk about their feelings. And, and they need to talk about things when they think they might make a bad choice. You, if you talk it out, maybe you'll make a good decision. Maybe, um, maybe if you're with a friend and your friend wants you to try something you've never tried before, but it's not a good idea, you say, well, I think my mom would get mad at me if I did that. And then the other child would say, well... We should try it anyway. What if we, what if, what if a friend does say that to you? Well, if your mom and dad don't like the idea of you trying something new, then you probably shouldn't do it. And I always tell my students in class that there's a, a little angel on one side and a little, a little devil on the inside in your mind. And, and the goal is to always listen to the angel. Where's the angel again over here? And this is a little devil. So the goal is to try so hard to listen to that good girl or to listen to that good boy. Because if you listen to the bad boy or the bad girl, oh boy, you're going to be in trouble. So try to stay out of trouble <laughs> and listen to your little angel on the inside of your head. I'm, me and my friends are at the store and I see candy I really want. Should I take it? And in your mind, you've got both sides. Of course, the little devil's saying, you should take it. It's going to taste so good. Plus, it's only 50 cents. And over here, the angel's saying, oh, no, you have to pay for it. It's the right thing to do. Okay, so this little you is right. So you shouldn't do this thing over here. And I think, you know, we come across a lot of those kind of decisions that we, that we want to make, and we want to make good decisions. And if you're not sure what decision to make, you should just think about it. Stop, take a step back, take a walk around the store, and think about the decision you're making. Or if you um, really are frustrated with your sister because she keeps touching your Legos, and you probably really want to push her, maybe you should think about not pushing her. Because pushing her is your little devil on the inside of your head getting mad and angry. And your good little, your good brother, the, the good side of you, is saying, I probably need to use my words. Or I probably need to, even better, give your sister something else to do. Or let her play with some Legos right next to you that aren't related to what you're building. Because your little sister just wants to be with you. And I think that's actually quite special. What do you think? Do you like it when your sister's next to you just not annoying you? Because brothers and sisters are wonderful friends if you let them be and if you work at it and if you communicate. Being able to talk about things is very important. If you don't want your little sister in your room or your little brother in your room, 
you just say that. But you have to give your brother and sister time somewhere else. So maybe you go to the playroom or you go to the living room or family room and read some books together. You can't just isolate yourself because brothers and sisters love you too much, okay? Try to stay out of trouble by communicating, knowing that you should do the right thing. It's important. Do the right thing. Treat others the way you want to be treated. And above all, be kind. <laughs> Keep reading. This book is testable, by the way. Thanks for listening to my little stay out of trouble message. Okay, this little book, I looked it up. My good friend Mrs. Vickers is letting me borrow some of her books during this virus thing. So I have more books to read. And this is one of her favorites. Miss Vickers, thank you. Okay, so the testable number is 128472, and I'll make sure I put it on the screen for you so you can remember it, okay? Have a great day, boys and girls. Make good choices. Be kind to each other. Be kind. It's the best thing. Listen to your angel, not your little devil, not the mean, angry guy or the one that wants to do bad things. Listen to this guy or this girl. She's amazing. Okay? Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the book. Bye!